to hear you, you it, 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 can this ever tell me anything like you gave him it some respect. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do to you? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna whoop that butt. You understand me? I'm gonna come over to the house and whoop it. That's what John need to do. You need something on your butt because you're too fast. You understand me? And you're gonna have to start listening to grown folks. John is a grown man. So here we are. What y'all witnessing is Big Unk. Big Unk was called over to the house by his niece because her son was disrespectful. Disrespectful to who you ask? Her boyfriend, his stepdaddy, John. John was trying to discipline his boy and his boy looked John in his eyes and said, you ain't my daddy. Y'all know what it is. And the mama said, you can't put your hands on my baby, but I'm going to call my uncle over and he going to handle it. Come on, man. What are we talking about? You, come, hey, my man, Issa Hopeful said, you right. Call me the man after your mama, you little turd. I see what I'm saying. Now you got a grudge match with this little kid. And now, now Big Unk got to show up. That's got to be tough. And it, we know these situations happen. How can how can I be the man of this house? It's dicey. Because that boy, I, man, you put your hands on him. He called his daddy. He got a daddy like Jay Prince. And now you got a whole situation. So now. See what I'm saying? And you done put your hands on him because the boy doing wild stuff. He pushing your buttons. He trying you as a man. He trying your authority in your house, you see. And so you're like, whoa, little heathen. And you grab them up. So anything. Hey, don't do whoa, that. Whoa, whoa. Get your hands off my baby. Get your hands off my baby. I handle it. I handle it. Now you as a man got to sit there. This woman that told you, you done been all disrespected all up through this house. Now she told you she going to handle it. You need to yeah. sit back. Relax. She she said, stop. She's, she say, stop. You stop. Put my son down. You stop. <laughs> Put the product of me being with another man down. That ain't your, you got no authority over that in this house. And that that's what we hitting on. Read between the lines, ladies. If you welcoming in a stepdaddy into the house, you got to relinquish all that power. You can't tell a man what limits or bounds. Granted, should no man be coming and abusing no kids? We ain't saying that. Don't agree with that. But you can't tell a man he can't be a man. There you go. So there you go. What is the consequence to having, you know, failed with the father of the child? Could it be that you have to relinquish authority to another man in order to get your home situation back right? Because your home would never be happy if, if your, you know, new man, the stepfather, can't have full authority, not like a dictator, but the overall in say so in this house because this child ain't mine. And I'm pretty sure y'all can understand now why in the wild lions and other animals, you know, they move in and they move in as a stepdaddy. They ain't playing stepdaddy. Them children got to go. You understand? Because it's it's not a natural balance, even in the, the human animal kingdom. And he's so hopeful. Says, don't be a stepdaddy if you're not about that life. Well, two things is true. About what life? About the life of being uh, emasculated and being a second class citizen in the house and not having final say so. Because if you're dealing with a, you know what I mean, you got to find that perfect situation. There you go. Hard, which is too hard to find. You might as well start your own situation. There you go. Or about that life, you mean you can go in there and you about enough where you can establish. Oh, you're, maybe you're a beta male provider. There you go. There you go. We ain't speaking on type of men. I don't even understand these men, but I get what you're saying. I don't know. There are beta male providers out there who will come in. I get it. See what I'm saying? And, yeah, we, talk about, and we talk about most disrespectful women and children. There yes. are good situations out there. We ain't saying every woman with a child is undateable or anything like that. But when you got to deal with situations where you being disrespected, told you ain't my daddy, the mama telling you don't don't talk to my son, all this wild stuff. Yes. Come yeah, on. Under, understand how these 
domestic situations start to happen. That's what we shine in the light on. The do's and don'ts in uh, stepdaddyhood. Listen to grown folks. John is a grown man, okay? And you start treating him like that. He's more of a daddy to you than your daddy is. You understand that? When the last time you seen your daddy? Holy hell. If that ain't the most hood normal question, listen, I don't know. Maybe y'all in the audience grew up in nuclear families, but if you didn't, that's a question. When the last time you seen your daddy? Oh, then, yeah. He, he said, no. he, he said, John, John here for you. He treats you better than your daddy. You don't respect John. Put some respect on his name. He up here taking care of you, boy. Yeah. Your daddy, Nug Nug Supreme, boy. John, the good man. John, John's uh, Mr. 40 hours. Your daddy, a couch Negro. Don't you understand? <laughs> change your allegiance. Change your alliance. That's what you, that's what you got to tell this little boy to do. Say, you got to change your allegiance. You can't be so loyal to your father who you ain't seen in the month of Sundays. You got to be loyal to this new man who might not necessarily no, be. You, a you, can't, you can't just tell a child that that's on the mom. And that's you what, yeah. Understood. Before you even and, bring a man into the house, the children got to be on board. It ain't my job to come on here and get these children on board. At all. No. And it really should never be. It should never be pressure ever put on a young child either. Because it's unnatural. It's unnatural. That's that's it. Huh. He said, John, this is this is sad. He Whoever said, this John character is. Come on, John. Yeah, Walk John. Away. John, SYSBM. Go ahead. Save yourself, brother. Yeah, Yo. John. And, and but here you go. What's what's the chances, John, a big blowed out kind of post-sorry brother? It's a strong chance in these situations. You know, the stepdad in these situations, folks, they never, you know, it really ain't never Mr. 40 hours, you know, or somebody re too respectable universally. Us usually it's some blowed out, not too much good for nothing. Man is maybe uh, on the pension or something. I don't know. But ain't never a good situation. It ain't never good. It ain't never in black and white. It's always all foggy and muddy. He said, when last time you seen your daddy, boy? Holy fuck, that's some hood shit. Next time you see the daddy. Yeah. Yeah. But well, when the last time you seen John? Uh, well, you better start appreciating him, boy, because that pissed me off when you when can you tell me and tell me that you don't respect John. Uh, he ain't gonna never respect John. John oughta go ahead. Save yourself, John. Get your passport, John. There you go. <laughs> go on. Seriously. Kids know who to test, and they know how to test you, John. If he was going to respect you, it would have been respect through the dough. Seriously, I don't. I would imagine you that. Imagine. Well, I'm saying, I got, you've been disrespected. She got to call another man to defend your honor. I, I don't. I don't. It's just I don't. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking – I, with no experience on this, I would imagine a young boy who would be respectful through the door. I would imagine, but I have no experience in this I, at all. Real talk. Uh, 